Today's shore-inspired lunch is my last little hurrah of summer. The catch of the day is corn cereal crusted fried fish with a creamy homemade tartar sauce. This is fillets of walleye, which is a local mild flaky white fish. It is so delicious. I look at it as a vehicle for crunchy fried bits and tartar sauce. And now I'm gonna take them through a standard dredging station. I've got all-purpose flour here, some beaten egg, and the crunchy corn cereal coating, which gives you these craggly bits. It's super, super crunchy. And now I'm assigning one of my hands to be the egg hand, and then I'll keep my other hand as the dry ingredients hand so that I don't also dredge my fingers. I'll get these completely coated in the egg. The corn cereal has been crushed to about the size of oatmeal, and it's been seasoned with some paprika to lend some of those smoky campfire vibes. This is looking good, it's completely coated. I have some neutral oil heating here over medium, and to test to make sure that it's hot enough, I'm gonna drop in a piece of cereal and it should sizzle immediately, just like that. I'm gonna fry this in two batches because I don't wanna overcrowd the pot. If I do, that's gonna drop the temperature of the oil and then that could make the fish taste greasy and icky and nobody wants that. I love that sound so much. And one thing I love about fish is that it cooks really quickly. So just a few minutes on each side until this coating is golden. This is already getting golden. So I'll flip it to make sure that it's evenly cooked all over. Oh yeah. That's exactly the golden color that I'm looking for. And look at that texture. All of those craggly bits of corn cereal are gonna be so crunchy and good. I've got a wire rack here over a pan and I'm gonna transfer these pieces too. And the wire rack is important because it allows the air to get underneath it and keep the bottom crispy. Okay, while those are still hot and still have some excess oil on them, I'm gonna season them with salt so that it sticks. Okay, I'll fry up the second batch of fish. Okay, a sprinkle of salt. And now I'm gonna make my tartar sauce, but I'm gonna keep these crispy in a warm oven while I do that. No offense to Wale, but it's really just a vehicle for tartar sauce. And this one is so good, you could eat it with a spoon. For the base, I'm using a combination of mayonnaise and Greek yogurt. This just keeps it coming back for more, and you could eat it all day long on that shore. And now I'll flavor it with relish, which is a must for tartar sauce. A tablespoon of stone ground mustard for that zinginess. And then I've got some smoked paprika, more campfire smokiness, a little garlic powder, and a pinch of cayenne for another kind of heat. And lastly, I'll class things up with some chopped parsley. It's looking really good. Okay. This color is so beautiful. I'm smelling that corn cereal. I can hear how crispy it is. Put my tartar sauce in here. Mm -mm -mm. And I'll arrange the lemon wedges all around but I'm gonna keep one in my hand because I'm gonna do this immediately. Here I go. Mm-hmm. Mm. It is so perfectly crispy, and that corn cereal is sweet, and that tartar sauce is unstoppable.